and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Ash Harrowing. And this is a deck that we've been playing against quite a bit recently. Uh, so I, I don't know, it just kind of seems like something fun. This is a deck I've, I've enjoyed playing in the past. And so kind of went back to a list that we've played before and changed just a couple of cards to kind of update it. But um, yeah, this is a fun one. So basically our goal is to get as many of the, our champion, Ash, in play as possible because and leveled up because whenever they attack and you know if you could get like five like, you know this would be pretty silly but if you did get five of them in play and they attacked well then you would frostbite five enemies and so they level up but basically the point is to get you know maybe you get two or three in play you attack you frostbite some enemies they can't block and then you have enough power that with the enemies that can't block on your opponent's side you have enough uh, other attackers to be able to get through enough damage and win the game that way um, and the main way that we're doing that of course is with harrowing that's our other name of our our deck besides ash we also have harrowing so if we could have a, a bunch of um, our champions die then uh, you know they'll be like our strongest allies that we'll be reviving and bringing back now we are playing avaros and hearth guards because avaros and hearth guards just awesome but it is a little bit of non-synergy with just because hearth guard is actually bigger than ash so if we have too many hearth hearth guards die then we'd be bringing those back instead of ash that's the one thing that we have to be a little worried you know a little bit uh worried about and uh you know thinking about whenever we're playing babbling so they're they are the two units with five plus power babbling beer will be drawing one of those chronicler of ruin is just awesome in here it's great with hearth guard of getting the allies plus one plus one again Great with Babbling Bjerg to draw another card. Great with Ash, because we do need Ash to die, because we want to bring it back with like Rekindler and stuff like that. And it's also just good with some of our other things, like Averroes and Sentry. That's a really good card to Chronicler of Ruin as well. Um, Omenhawk's not bad if we need to. But then we just got like our Frostbite stuff to help Ash level up with Brittle Steels and Harsh Winds. Rhymefang Wolf is great whenever you have a bunch of units of zero power, thanks to Ash. Um, and that's kind of our deck. Yeah. All right, so let's give it a try. We're going to play five games over in ranked. And we're, hey, Quincy, and we're going to have some fun today. We're going to be doing some things like we're going to play a lab and play a gauntlet. Haven't done a lab or a gauntlet in a long time. We'll have rank up Sunday tomorrow, and then we'll have memes here Monday, the day after that. Uh, but for today, I figured it'd be a good time to uh, play. There's a brand new lab that we haven't played at all. So that'd be fun to, to try out. And then also a new gauntlet that we haven't tried at all with um, tri-regions. So we get to use three different regions. And so we're going to do that with Bilgewater, Freljord, and Shadow Isles. And the deck I made basically splits them all evenly. It's, we have 14, 13, and 13 for the number of cards in each region. <clears throat> so going true tri-region. So like, if you're somebody who really doesn't like how Hearthguard kind of messes with Ash a little bit with um, bringing it back, Thresh is the other option for this slot. You could definitely play Thresh. Um, I wanted just the one champion with my Entreat, but you could play Thresh because Thresh does kind of help bring it back. Um, uh, it could, can help bring Ash into play. All right, so this is a slower hand, but we're playing against a slower deck. I, I like this stuff, you know, I like curving Rhymefame Wolf into Ash, into Hearthguard, Chronicler of Ruin for whatever. They're probably a little scared because if I have flash freeze, yeah, so they're not even attacking because so I have flash freeze. <clears throat> okay, so playing Ash. It's kind of odd. Basically, the problem with playing Ash is if they have single combat. Faster than my arrow? Right, where they can like single combat right now before I can attack. Where if I go Archer, I frostbite it immediately. They can't have single combat. I can then just eat it with. Rhymefang Wolf. 
We're gonna go Ash though, because we don't really mind if our first Ash dies. And okay. And I was gonna say, even if they do have the single combat to fight it, then their cavalry would be at one health, and then we'd be able to brittle steal it at the one health. Hey Nakano, I'm doing good. How are you doing? I'm doing good. Fresh. So, all right. So I think I know. Again, we don't really mind Ash dying, but I don't think we just like automatically just have them kill Ash, especially with with no rekindler or harrowing or anything like that in hand. Why would this thing attack? Like, why would this even attack? I don't know. I'm guessing Withering Whale, maybe, or Vile Feast. You know, like one of those kind of things. I haven't, honestly, nobody, yeah, so nobody's given me any feedback on on YouTube about the new sound settings. Uh, those of y'all on YouTube watching this later, let me know. We, I'm trying out a new mic setting that I started yesterday. I haven't, as far as I could tell, like re-watching the YouTube videos, it sounded good. Um, but you know, I, I don't, I haven't used like headphones. Um, yeah, hopefully somebody says, next. next uh, Tuesday or Wednesday or I guess no the 17th or 18th so today's the 15th so that's Monday or Tuesday so Monday or Tuesday I'm supposed to get in the mail um, a covering for the mic that that should maybe help with popping noises of um, how sometimes it kind of crackles a little bit so hopefully that will be better these old eyes still see far and clear um, after that. Okay, good, Tumbledog. Tumbledog said, just listen to the start of the newest video and it sounds good. Awesome. One candle for every soul. For every soul. Uh, let's see. Think about just going Crystal Arrow. Yeah. So while I could go Hearthguard, I kind of want to Chronicler the Sentry and just draw a card because, like, basically, hopefully, like the game's about to end, right? And so, like, it's I think it's better to just have additional cards. Like, if this is going to be the last turn, it doesn't really matter if I pump up things currently. It matters if this if we can find something to kind of help protect our things. So this would put them down to one because they'd be gaining one life with this vile feast. So we are going to be sacrificing the three ones. So they don't gain one life, so they take eleven and GGs. Save the 
And I just found that, like, you know, it's a good thing that I played the Chronicler of Ruin and drew that extra card, right? Because without what that wasn't that glimpse beyond our very last card that we just drew. I think it was. And so I think that getting that extra card found us the glimpse beyond, which allowed us to win that turn. Yeah, I like that too, Tumble Dog. I like how this deck really likes or really uses Ash um, a ton and has Ash just shine and, and make that card look really good. This is a fun champion to play. I like how we get to completely build around it. That's another just pretty good hand. This is definitely a matchup where Hearthguard is going to be important. Getting large units. Um, because of Reckoning and Culling Strike and that kind of stuff. Now, obviously, nothing stops... You know, it doesn't matter the size of your units whenever you're talking about... Um, They're out there. I'll spot them. You know, Frostbite card into Culling Strike or Reckoning, but... The <laughs> no, I haven't seen Zombie Jinx. What's up, Choo Choo? Well, we got some options here. It's good to have options. <laughs> Try to make a Zombie Fiora deck. It didn't go well. Yeah. Yeah, because you need your... You don't... You don't want your Fiora to die. You need your Fiora to stay out there for a long time. Uh... Question is... Was Thresh Gangplank where Thresh felt the best? That was the question there. That's a good reckoning. I think so. I mean, I also like Thresh with Hecarim and uh, that kind of that kind of deck. I like that a lot with Thresh, with like your Harrowing and Hecarim and those kind of cards. Thresh is great in that kind of deck. I will unite the Freljord. Today, Ash. The War Mother will unite us all. Stand and defend. Carved from the savage cold. Okay, so two options. One, Harsh Winds, then that's the only thing that I do this turn. Two, I could Chronicler the Ash, bring it back as just a 5-3, and then they don't have the Vulnerable on it. Um, and then that's still the only thing I do this turn, but then we save three spell mana instead of saving two spell mana. Hmm. I'm just gonna harsh winds. If they don't want to attack, that's cool too. Avarosans, stand together. Ready the torches. If it's a fight they want. Victory. 
Yeah, that, that's what I was just talking about. That yeah, I was talking about that. That was yep. Yeah, I yeah, I just mentioned that 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 was a that was an option for me to play was the chronicler. It would it would have made the ash smaller again, but that was definitely an option. We decided to go with the harsh winds. All right, seven mana. Let's go with this. Let's go with this. Okay, no, like that's not gonna work. So the opponent on eight life, harsh winds, open attack is lethal. If we just respawn and don't block, like that's not gonna work. Like they're they're gonna have their own like harsh winds, brittle steel, that kind of stuff. Like we wouldn't just kill them. Yeah, like they, they definitely have harsh winds out of these. Which we basically have, you know, we're basically doing the same kind of thing. This is the power of the that doesn't, sword. that doesn't help them. Unless they play another unit right now. They'll still get frostbitten. That's kind of just a waste of an elixir of iron. Well, I mean, four health isn't you know isn't bad against all of my three power things anyway. Okay, so they played another thing. Swiftly now. Um, so they have to have flash freeze, basically. My challenge here. It's not that likely that they have flash freeze. Because Brittle Steel, Culling Strike, those don't do it. Alright, GG's. Oh, we're... Aren't we 2-0? Oh? Yeah, we're 2-0. Oh. Did not I guess I didn't update the other the score the last time. Or two now. I guess I don't I don't like saying things are lethal whenever the opponent would have lots of cards and mana and things like that. I you know I think it's you know you can say it's you can attempt lethal, but I don't like saying um, just, just in, you know, just in, in general, I don't like saying, well, if you do this, that's lethal whenever the opponent would have a lot of mana and cards because they interact also. I, I think when you say something is lethal, that that's definitive of they don't have any thing to be able to react with. Yeah, you can threaten lethal, you can attempt lethal, like that kind of stuff, yeah. You can try it for lethal, but it's not lethal. Where are you? Don't like Trendomir in this kind of deck at all. Uh, don't, basically, you don't really want 
larger things than Ash. If you have Trindamir, it dies. Now you're bringing Trindamir back with your Rekindler. You want to be bringing Ash back. Um, so yeah, just not not a fan of it. Now... Don't want this trade either. But I do understand wanting to clear up their clear up their board when we're playing Rhymefang Wolf and Ash and things like that. These old eyes still see far and clear. Yuck. about what about playing ash they have removal mm, i don't know if i'm supposed to be that worried about that maybe i just go chronicler on the sentry to draw a card and wait till next turn Yep, there's Caretaker. this route. Dang. We're at some really large units. Obviously, I know it's all all about getting a bunch of ashes in play and not letting them block and doing 20 damage. There you are. And so we're not really I doing a great job of that. Nice Fell Archer plays the best defense. I would be uh, Frostbiting the Bark Beast. Hearthguard is the best offense. Yes. Yeah, Chronicling uh, Hearthguard, you get the plus one, plus one again. Lighted Caretaker is a heck of a card. Thankfully, they can only have one more of those. Good. 
You would think they can only have one more of those at least. Hey Potato, good morning. Good morning. Faster than my arrow? I think not. Is nothing. You can see the Demacian border from here. Okay, so hopefully they don't go straight to attacks and I'm able to play like Ice Veil Archer or something like that first. Looks like they're going to be going straight to attacks. Our banner will lead the way. My life for Avarosa. Save the homestead. That's good. I'll take that. Or could really use a harsh winds here. total. Ugh, I don't need the harsh winds now. Uh. I kind of have nothing to do. So I could just play harrowing. And basically what we'd get is we get the two hearth guard triggers and we would also draw a card with we get the two hearth guards, then we would draw a card with sentry. Yeah, I was just kind of scared of, of Glimpse Beyonding that thing. I don't know. I don't want them to take that extra three damage. Is that what I do? Just get two hearth guard triggers and draw a card? This harrowing? I think so. I'm, I don't know, I'm not sure if I just, no, I don't, I don't know if I can just harrowing the next turn, we'll have to see, that's not a very good card. I wish I had this last turn. So this brings back Ash. And I get to Chronicler it to get another Ash. And then we need like those kind of Ashes to die, and then we get to Harrowing with a bunch of Ash. That's kind of what our deck's supposed to be doing. Yeah, no, this turn, this turn I'm planning on these two with Archer. Oh. I guess I should have Archer first. Forgive me, Avarosa. I 
It's like, if the priority would have, would have gone back to us, I would have attacked and not played Archer. Like, so that's why I played that first, because I was planning on just attacking with Ash frostbiting the 15-15, and if, then, you know, seeing if they would trade Callista for Ash, because I wanted them to trade Callista and Ash. So I didn't, so, like, my plan wasn't to frostbite first. Um... Yeah, our hand got pretty awkward there at, at the end. It got pretty awkward. Yeah, that's a tough one. Okay, we don't need three, four mana cards. on it's not like I don't like those four mana cards it's just I don't want to keep a bunch of four mana cards see the get him sentry the I guess they don't have a very good hand or they do? I don't understand what's going on. Light the signal fires. Faster than my arrow? I think not. Like that we have Glimpse on in case they kill Ash. Get to draw a couple of cards. Swiftly now. They just don't even block the 1-1. One, one. City Breaker is going to put in some work. Nothing escapes my life. This has been months that Hearthguard has had this bug. It will ever be fixed. Been months. Where are you at? You're at one. A true Felyorian welcome. So of course I want to Rhymefang Wolf kill the City Breaker. Um, but I don't really want to show them Rhymefang Wolf to start with. Okay, well, I guess we're playing it now. Yeah, Harrowing doesn't really work with Teemo, but you can definitely rekindle her Teemo. I've done, I've done that before, of like, rekindle her Teemo and Thresh with Teemo. Now, then of course, rekindle would get Thresh at that point. But I definitely have done a, that kind of deck before. Adorosans, stand together. Use Thresh. Level up Thresh just to put in to put in Teemo into play attacking. Keep the Swain from leveling up. So 
City Breaker is really underrated. Like, it's it's leveling up Sejuani basically by itself. Um... I just wonder if I even harsh wins that. Or if I just let it die with harrowing. Like go like babbling Bjerg. Nah, probably harsh wins. With what's in my hand. Or do neither. Destination in sight. My aim is true. Hoping this works. All right, GG's. Ash with not being able to block is so strong. Card is so strong with the with that level up of you can't block. I don't know if that that level up is really that necessary. I don't know. It just seems so good. I don't know, but that's that's what our deck's built around, is that level-up ability of saying they can't block. That's what it's about. Man, that's good. Thanks, Mind. Thank you. Alright, 3-1, and one, going for the 4-1. Like the doggos are sleeping, so they're they're listening to the opponent saying silence, please. Okay, we'll keep the sentry. See what else we get. That egg. Did it move? Yeah, so far harrowing has drawn us one card. And got us two, and pumped up everything in our deck, plus two, plus two, <laughs> with the hearth guards. But yeah, not a lot. <laughs> not a lot. So it's kind of tough. If I attack, they block, they get to play Remembrance. But Remembrance would only be a five mana card instead of a six mana card. So I kind of like that. Ooh, no remembrance. All right, let's mess some folks up. Hmm. All the world on one arrow. Time to get rowdy. No backing down. I wonder if I should block the three four with my one one so I can brittle steal it. No, I don't need to do that. So they're going to assume that I have another Ash in hand the with the Battling Bjerg.
And of course, we don't really mind Omenhawk dying, because it's good to keep the board clear for harrowing later. Um... We're at three. So we can go flash freeze, brittle steel. Attack for the win. What does this thing do? Okay, not much. <laughs> not much. I can still play Chronicler of Ruin and still do that whole thing. Well, let's see. 11. Okay, actually, this isn't even enough to, to kill them anyway. So, yeah, let's go Chronicler. It's just, which one of these do I want to Chronicler? They're all good targets. I think I'd target Ash. Even though that pumps that makes Ash a 5-3 instead of a 6-3. Because of, of Harrowing. Like, we want as many Ash dead as possible. Um, but Bjerg, we draw another unit. You know, so we draw another Hearth Guard or Ash. Or hearth guard, we get the pluses again. Uh... Alright, I'm a sucker of drawing cards. Just... No, I didn't. Okay. This will keep their keep their vengeance from happening. Stand together. It's not bad for us to have things die. So I'll just just let those things die, or let let that babbling beard die. No, now they have remembrance. Wish I could double spell with Hearth Guard and Ash. Next turn, we can't double spell with Ash with Ash and Harrowing. This keeps being a little awkward. Is that is that the new champion that's going to be revealed tomorrow, Nenual? Lux is doing Lux things. So I can go Hearthguard and Ash. I guess I do that. Yeah, it could just go s simply Harrowing, but... Okay. Yeah, Vengeance is good. Not. 
Still have the eight ma mana. They can four Demacia. What is this doing? So we get two Hearth cards and two Ash. Yeah, Lux has been dominating this game. Gotta mean, you know, like they have to have like the five mana five five life steal. It's the only reason to do that. I fight for the fallen. So the problem with playing Ice Veil Archer here is I don't really want it in play because I want to have more room for harrowing. But I guess that if I if they don't attack, By the light. if they don't attack, I have okay. So I have room for two Hearth Guard, two Ash. Still. That doesn't help them. I don't know what the rest of their hand is, but that doesn't help them. The time is right. Strike now. I'll lead us to victory. <clears throat> All right, GG's. <clears throat> GG's. There we go. We finally, we played against a, a slower control deck and we actually got to Harrowing. And finally we got to have our Harrowing really help us win a game. There we go. Alright, so that's that's it for Ash Harrowing. Four and one. Good record there. We will definitely take that. Uh, yeah, just a whole lot of Frostbite in here. And you know, just a, a huge combination of Frostbite spells with... Ash is, you know, it's just super, super powerful. Um, our one flash freeze came in big. And you see, I'm not, other versions, as you saw, like, I play a little bit more mid-rangey with this, with playing the, the hearth guards. Like, I just think hearth guards a great card. You know, it just pressures, you know, hits, hits really hard, pressures really well, makes so many other things larger. Other versions of this deck, other people go even more into the Ash of, like, really playing like a whole bunch of like more miss calls more rekindlers and really caring about uh ash dying like that um i i go for more of just like a, a general good deck and and good good cards and stuff by going hearth card because i know as we talked about at the beginning that can be a little awkward of how hearth card comes in first before ash with harrowing i i still just think it's worth it i think this is just such a great card um other people you know you can play thrash if you want in that slot i suppose but i i really like Avros and hearth card um so there we go that's it all right those y'all watching later on youtube hit that like button over there and of course leave those comments let me know how the sound's going um anything about the deck you know feel free to leave those comments i'd appreciate it but thank you so much for watching some ash harrowing and i'll see you for the next video